let me show you the baby because <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel I am looking a hot mess <laughs> but I was up with the baby till about 2 in the morning so forgive me um I just wanted to make an update video uh, we're trying to get back in the groove of things and so we want to start making videos again but I kind of want to just catch you guys up to uh, what happened this past year so far and where we're at now. And I have a few minutes because the baby is still asleep right now. So I have my coffee, which is mostly creamer. <laughs> and I have my list so I don't forget. So I'll be probably looking down to remind myself what I wanted to say. And let's get into it. So, I have little kids down here under my desk too, so. <laughs> um, so the beginning of the year, well actually like the end of the, um, the end of last year, right before Christmas, Rob lost his job. And I think it was the end of the year. It might have been January, I don't remember really. Rob lost his job. And it was a very difficult, stressful time. We were praying a lot. That's literally all we knew what to do was just pray and trust that something would happen. And any money we had saved for anything we used, um, there was really nothing, nothing left and then he finally found a job. The job he got wasn't the best job. It was like they were really nice people. It was a really good place to work. But he, Rob makes most of his money with like overtime hours and like working all the time. So there it was just like not enough hours. We were getting money but it was not enough to like pay our bills and feed our family. So, he was working there while he was doing that. He was working, but then he was trying to find another job because we just knew that that was not going to work out. So, it was a difficult time and we were just, just praying and going with it. We borrowed money from people. We spent everything that we had saved up. And... Yeah, he eventually got a job. Um, he got a job, or a different job, not a, got a job, but it was in May. He has the same job since May that he has now, and he is driving a tow truck for a company in our area. And it's been crazy because he works all the time, but at the same time it's been probably the best job he's had since we've been together I mean money wise so I mean it has his it has its things that we don't really love about it but things are going better in that area of life <laughs> so that's good but it was just super stressful I think the last video I posted was the gender reveal and he had actually lost his job right before that and that was just I didn't even really want to like make a big deal out of that that almost got cancelled I was super stressed he wasn't as stressed as me he's more of the calm one <laughs> and I'm not so um I kind of just put down the camera and we tried to film like here and there um, I filmed like a grocery haul, I filmed a homeschool room tour, and then somehow like I couldn't get those videos onto the computer to upload, so we just ended up deleting that. 
and I was super stressed anyway so I was kind of like in the I don't care <laughs> but um, also throughout the pregnancy I kind of just felt like down and kind of almost like I didn't really want to share that much about it um, probably just because of judgment from just family and friends uh, I just didn't want to put anything else kind of out there I think some of you know that we were planning a home birth. I don't know if I actually said that in any of the videos that I last uploaded, but we did end up having a home birth. Um, it's what I wanted. It's what I talked Rob into. And then things didn't really go as planned in the home birth. And I still haven't shared that with many people like in our daily life. So I'm not going to share much of that right now. But... Um, I did end up having a home birth and it didn't go as planned, but it was fine. Um, I ended up being transferred to the hospital. Um, and so I am kind of struggling with that. Um, postpartum has been really difficult. And let's be honest, it's real and it's hard. <laughs> it sucks and so yeah. <laughs> I just felt really guarded throughout my pregnancy. Like I just don't know how to explain it. I just kind of wanted to keep it all to myself. Um, just the moment and I didn't really want to put everything out there. Um, and then after I had him... I don't know why I haven't decided to share with very many people, but I just felt like the people that need to know right now know, and the people that don't know, they just don't need to know right now. So, um, anyways, I did have the baby. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I did post his pictures there, um, and I will have one of the girls go get him in a minute so I can show him to you but um we had him on July 13th and he was nine pounds even oh he was a big baby <laughs> and we named him Cooper Zane and he's just so sweet he looks just like Jasper <laughs> so um he's a cutie we are breastfeeding again and so that was a little bit difficult at first too. He's he's doing a lot better with that. But now I've just been dealing with postpartum stuff. Um, I met with my midwife and I definitely have postpartum depression. Um, I did have a traumatic birth experience. So that is probably adding to all that. So I'm actually going to be starting counseling next week. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get a, um, we're trying to like work out some stuff to get a gym membership because I just feel better when I'm working out and I worked out for a while when Rob was deployed and really kept my anxiety and depression levels at bay. So <laughs> we're thinking maybe that'll help too. And yeah, that's about it. That's where we're at. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of things, but a lot of those things I just don't want to give a lot of details on. And it was definitely dragged out through the year. And now all the children are gathering. So it's probably going to get crazy in a minute. Do you want to say hi? Hi. And Jasper had dental surgery. And now his... um. His caps keep falling off his teeth and we keep having to go back to the dentist to get them back on. Right. <laughs> Maybe in a little bit. But Rob's on call this weekend, so <coughs> it's probably going to be a crazy weekend. Um, he's going to be in and out. And yeah, why don't you go get the baby? I'll show you Cooper. He's been a little bit fussy. Uh, he's been a little bit fussy and gassy. Pretty sure he has colic. 
You don't have a dollar, but that was a good try. And you could give me it, then I could give you it. Okay, hop down. Not right now. So. Starting. Every time Rob's gone. He's a tough one. But let me show you the baby. Because <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> oh, your first time on the video. Jasper, come on. Oh, he's going to sneeze or something. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Say hi, Cooper. She probably just was he asleep. Yeah, she woke him up. Oh, say hi. Well, he, wasn't, he was asleep, but as soon as I moved the blankets, he started waking up. <laughs> so he is seven weeks today, <laughs> and he's a little over 12 pounds. And he's probably going to be hungry, huh? But he's a cutie, and we love him. No, Number seven. Here he is. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram because I've been posting over there a little bit. But it's been a little bit crazy around here, huh? You're so cute. Your eyes are so big. Real big. <laughs> He's just really scared. Mom, get the no. Fortnite game ready. But yeah, it's going to be uh, getting a little bit loud and crazy Mom, any second. Fortnite so, I just wanted to say Mom, thank you for all the new subscribers. Ready. And we're going to be posting at least one video a week. So, Bye, guys. Bye. Anyways, we will see you guys soon. Say Bye, thanks. guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.